Hello everyone, thanks for joining again. Thank you for, for visiting us. We're gonna to talk today about the FHA termite inspection and termite guidelines. And this may apply to you. You might be watching this video because you're a buyer of a home or potentially a seller of a home and you're concerned with whether the home you buy or the home you sell is gonna be past FHA inspection and how is it going to, um, to impact the, the transaction. So the first thing I want to say is if you're buying a home, you, your, your, inspe your FHA inspection must include a termite inspection. And termites are a, a big problem in the East Coast and especially in the Southeast. Uh, it, is, it is a huge deal. And if, in fact, as you go into some, some areas of the Southeast, homes are, are built with block construction instead of wood construction because termites are, are such a problem. Now, um, you, you must, be sure that if you're buying the home that not only is the, uh, the home inspected for termites but if there's damage found that it must be rectified and if you're trying to sell a home and you're concerned about the inspection because you're the seller and you know that your house has termites you are better off just getting it taken care of and treated right now so that way you can get a certificate and everything you can kind of put that to bed and not worry about your inspection and potentially blow a sale so if uh, termites are found, I'm going to read from the website here, which I will link to in the first pinned comment and also the description where you can read more about the FHA termite guidelines. But I'm going to read to you here what will happen if, what, or what needs to happen if uh, termite damage is found. First, the home, the home must be treated by licensed termite or pest control company. So although you can do a DIY termite extermination project, you're not permitted to do that uh, here if the termite damage has been found by an inspector, okay? And any damage that was created by the termites must be repaired before closing. I'll say before closing with the potential exception is if you are getting a two, an FHA 203K rehab loan, then the FHA guidelines may allow you to, to make those repairs after closing using additional money that you could borrow on your loan. However, my personal opinion is that you want to get that repaired by the seller beforehand because you may not be entirely sure as to what the extent of that damage is. A, a termite inspection might reveal just surface level damages and may not reveal everything. So for example, you may have a crawl space where you have floor joists there and the inspector has, using a screwdriver has detected some softness in the wood and they can see some mud tunnels, but maybe what he cannot see is that that damage has now gone in to the main beams which are not being detected by uh, probing and, uh, and during the repair of the floor joists that might be revealed that the beams are also damaged. And if you were gonna do that post-closing with the 203K rehab loan, then the, the extent of the repair and the cost could be far more than what you would have anticipated. So that's the long way of saying, try to get it done uh, before closing because that's really what's best here and that's what's required by it for FHA guidelines. Um, and any conditions that are likely to result and additional termite damage must be remedied. So a condition that in one of those examples would be if you have, see termites like moisture and oftentimes if you have a lot of moisture around the foundation of your home, uh, termites will, uh, will often um, congregate, I guess is the best way to put it. It could be an entry point. They like the, they like the moisture and especially if that moisture gets into the wood uh, alongside the building. So if you have downspouts coming from your, your gutters on your roof and they don't take the water away and it's kind of pooling by your house, even though the termite damage is inside the house, you will need to have that taken care of as well. Um, maybe you have a leak inside the house that's, got, that's gotten the wood wet. That, that could create uh, a spot where termites would, would like to come. And here's another one that I had personally experienced, which is, you have the dryer, your dryer vent exhausting out of the house and if it's not sealed properly and that, that 
moist air coming from your dryer is leaking up into, into your wall, now you've got, you've got moist wood in there and termites love that and that's something that I had to deal with myself and had to rebuild that wall. So that's another situation that you would need to deal with which is repair the dryer venting if it's gonna cause um, potential uh, termite damage. So I hope that this provided you with some information, some basic information. The rest can be found on the webpage that I'm linking to in the description in the first pinned comment. If you want to talk to someone about qualifying for your mortgage, you want to ask more questions about FHA termite guidelines, just visit us there and we appreciate you watching. We will see you next time.